The country is so, so divided, obviously, right now. And while some Republicans, like President Bush and Senator Mitt Romney, have congratulated President-elect Joe Biden, others, including Senator Lindsey Graham, who you know well, continue to urge yes. President Trump to not concede. And I want you to listen to what Graham has said about Biden in the past and then what he's saying today. If you can't admire Joe Biden as a person, then it's probably you got a problem. <laughs> you need to do some self-evaluation. Because what's not to like? He's the nicest person I think I've ever met in politics. Is that right? He is as good a man as God ever created. You can take it to the bank. I ran on it. I won overwhelmingly being a impediment a block to okay. the most radical domestic agenda in the history of the country. We will kill it dead in the Senate if you give us the majority. We will work with Biden if he wins, but okay. Trump has not lost. Do not concede, Mr. President. Fight hard. Uh, you and Graham and John McCain were once dubbed the three amigos in the right. Senate. So again, you have a close relationship with Senator Graham. Are you surprised by the Lindsey Graham you're hearing today? Uh, here's what I'm confident of, that if uh, Joe Biden becomes our next president, which I'm sure he will, I think he's won, I don't at this point see any substance to the legal claims that President Trump is making. So one way or the other, this is going to, uh, the Trump campaign is going to end and Joe Biden will be our next president. I think you're going to find Lindsey Graham going back to that first uh, expression of opinion toward Joe Biden, which is really positive, but also to what he is. He's a, uh, he's a, Lindsey's a natural bridge builder. He, he's a, a natural uh, problem solver. And I, I'm hopeful that he's going to be one of President Joe Biden's uh, best allies on the Republican side in the Senate.